Hello everybody, and welcome to the second video of the Unity tutorial series. So in this tutorial, we'll be learning how to move any object using the WASD keys. Now, this does require one script, and it certainly requires some objects. So without further ado, let's begin. One small thing before we begin, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps us out, and we are determined to help you become a master at Unity. So we're going to start over here in the hierarchy and here we are going to create a plane because we need a surface for our object to be able to move on. Let's get into materials a bit because we want to color this and make it look good. So, we're, so in our project we're going to create a material and we'll just call it plane material and we're just gonna change the color to something like green possibly to represent grass and we will select the plane material and drag and drop it onto our plane so that we have a nice plane material. And just because it looks better, we will drop the smoothness to zero. Okay, so we have our plane. So now let's create the object that we will be moving. So go to Create, 3D Object, and let's go with a capsule. Just because. So here's our capsule. Let's make this red. So we'll go to create in project, material, we'll call this object material, and we will make this red so that we can see it. There we go. Let's drop the smoothness down to zero. Okay, so there we go. We have our character and we have our plane. Simple. So now what we have to do is create a script that will allow us to get this capsule to move. So in project, we're going to create a script. And we will do that by hitting Create, C Sharp Script. And we will call the script Player Movement. OK. So now, if we were to double click on this, it will open the script up in Mono Develop, and we will edit it. All right, so we are in mono develop. So to move this character, we basically have to put a rigid body on it and then write a script that will enable us to move the rigid body when we hit the W key, the A key, and the S key, or the D key. So to start, we're going to make a variable. So we will make a public float speed, and this will determine how fast our object goes. Also, we need our script to identify the rigid body that is on the object. So we're going to make a private rigid body. And make sure the R in rigid body is capitalized, and we will just call it rigid. That name doesn't really matter, it's just the name of the variable. So in start, we will identify this rigid body, and we will get this rigid body from the object. So we will do rigid equals get component rigid body followed by two parentheses and a semicolon okay cool so now on the first frame of our game our script gets the rigid body from the object and it has all the information that's contained in it so now we will go to void update and basically void update is called every single frame so this is where we will enter in our movement. First though, we will switch update to fixed update. And fixed update works a lot better with timing. So for example, if your game is running a bit slowly and some frames run slower than usual, fixed update will work a lot better. So in fixed update, we need to write the functions that will get our object to move. So we will make a couple variables. So we will type float horizontal so this is the horizontal movement variable so now we will enter in the input of our keys to match our our variable of horizontal so input dot get axis and then we will call this horizontal followed by a semicolon so now we will type in float vertical equals input dot get axis and we will call this vertical okay so basically it takes the input from our keys and it turns them into a variable so now we have to make a vector 3 
and this will determine the direction that our object will move. So we will say vector3 move, let's just call it that, equals new vector3. So a vector3 takes an x axis, a y axis, and a z axis. So what we want to do is get the x axis as our horizontal variable and the z axis as our vertical variable. The y axis basically controls the up and down motion, but we won't have that for this movement. So this open parentheses will contain the x, y, and z axes. So we will type horizontal, comma, 0.0f for 0 for a float variable, and then vertical for our y axis. All right, so we have that. So now we will take the rigid body that we got from start and we will apply it in void fix update. So now that we got the input, we will say rigid dot add force. So what add force does is it it's self-explanatory. It basically adds a force to that object, but we have to apply a direction to it. So we will do times move times speed. So what this does is it takes the vector 3 of move and it applies it to the direction of the add force and it multiplies it by the speed. Good, okay. So this is all we have to do for the script for the movement of our character. Let's see if this works. Let's save it and return to Unity. All right, so let's see if this works. So we will hit play. Nope, not the main camera. We will hit play. Okay, so currently I am tapping on WASD key and obviously nothing is happening. So what's wrong? Well, first off, just for naming purposes, let's rename this player and we'll, re and we'll rename the plane ground. Okay, cool, so we have that. Now, why is this not working? So hopefully you remember that we added a rigid body get component in start. But as you can see, we don't have any rigid bodies in the player inspector. So we have to add one. So let's select add component, physics, rigid body. And this does all the work for us. So our mass is 1, drag is 0, the angular drag 0 0.05, that's all good. Be sure to check use gravity, and be sure not to check is kinematic, because that basically makes it a prop, and props can move. So, let's hit play and see what happens. Okay, it's not working again. So what's going on? Well, let's figure it out. So we will uncheck play, and we will see that the inspector is missing another object or the inspector is missing another component and that is the script we have not applied the script to our player and that is very simple there are two ways of doing this you can either hit add component and then scripts and player movement will be there or just simply select player movement and drag and drop drag and drop it onto player and there it is hooray so now we have to adjust the speed Let's adjust the speed to 5. There we go. So our speed is 5. Let's see what happens. Aha! Alright. That works. Now our capsule is falling into the abyss. Alright, cool. So that works out perfectly. But there's a problem. We kind of chose the wrong object. And that's a capsule. because, Because as you can see as we are rolling this thing around, it's not really good. Like, it's not really the perfect object for moving. No problem. We'll just create another object, 3D object, and let's say a sphere. So we have our sphere, and let's just make it red again, just so we can see it well, and let's put a rigid body on it. So we have our rigid body, and let's just drag and drop the script onto our sphere and this will be our new player and we can delete this old player so let's see if this works all right so I just realized that I forgot to set the speed so we'll set it to 5 again hooray 
Okay, so now we see that this works. All right, so that is how you use the WASD key to move objects with Unity. In the next tutorial, we will be parenting the camera to our object so that the camera follows the object wherever we go. So thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.